You know those Canon Travel Brothers, right? Yes, they operate the Canon Travel Network. What about them? Do they have installations everywhere? Yeah, it's a convenient mode of transportation, after all. Sure, it's convenient, but... Are those guys really brothers? Pretty sure I heard them mention specifically that they were brothers. But aren't they a little too alike? Every single one has the same face. You know, every one of them wears the same outfit. And their hairstyles match, too. Is there a difference? Nope. In fact, I don't think they're brothers at all. I think they're all the same person. You think so? Wait, it makes sense. Have you ever seen more than one of them in the same place? Right? If they're family, you'd think you'd see them interacting at some point. What are these canon travel brothers? Something tells me that we shouldn't question it any further. Who knows what creepy things we might uncover. Okay, I got it. I shouldn't have asked. Oh, I got shivers down my spine. The canon travel brothers. Will their mystery ever be solved? I don't know, I'm just happy to see the three of us starting to really get along here, though. <laughs> well, welcome back to Secret of Mana. I have currently downloaded the update patch, so hopefully with that there will be no more crashes or sprites disappearing or any of that. But, you know, we're, we're past that section of Empire, whatever you want to call it, where we would have used the Tiger Suit originally anyway, so... But now we have Flammy, the game has basically set us free at this point, so... I mean, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Probably just take care of a couple of the little basic things that you can do. One of which is... Right over here... Turtle Shell Isle. You know, someone mentioned that, like, the percussion in this song sounds like the Battletoads pause menu. Or pause thing. I never even picked up on it before. It's a nice weird little place here. People are just hanging out. Being excited. Living life, doing nothing. I'll always remember our lavish lifestyle back in the Empire. But what really matters is that we're safe now. That way you are. My family was nobility back in the Vandal Empire, but that was before the Emperor went crazy. I escaped to this island with my family before things got too dangerous. <laughs> the Emperor went crazy. Something about the sound of that, I tell ya. Or you can't get much safer than an island like this though, can you? Even though that water does look kinda shallow. I mean, I'd sleep here. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the little statues and stuff around here. There's probably some lore you could really dig into if you wanted to. But anyway, the real reason we came here was for this guy. And so much here. I do better business in a bigger city. There's nothing on this blasted aisle except these sea hair tails. Huh? Do you actually want one? Well, I was gonna throw it away anyway. Better put this away before I lose it. Aw, oh, no, I'll put it in my pocket. Yeah, so that would be one of the rare times you hear the boss victory, or, well, what do you call it? The victory slash I just beat a boss music outside of a boss battle. Whatever's going on on the outside doesn't really affect us here. It's so peaceful. This whole island here is situated on the back of a giant turtle shell. Oh man, well, well, I just noticed they changed the ring menu so now you can see like whose ring you're in. That's kind of cool. Cool indeed. Cool, it is so darn cool too. Even more cool than Mike Tyson's punch out, punch out, punch out, punch out, punch out. Okay, alright, let's get out of here. Um, there we go. Man, I can get used to like how bright it is outside right now. Usually the sun has moved over to the other side of the building by the time I wake up. But I woke up at like 9.30 this morning, so I'm like, what's hell, man? Yeah, look at this place. Okay, so the other thing 
was I wanted to get a guy's name. I could have done this a lot sooner, and for some reason I always forget to do it. But it'll probably be useful in at least one boss battle that I can think of. Also, man, look at my spear. That is just a cool looking spear, man. I don't know. It's almost like a spear on one side and an axe on the other or something. It's, I don't know. That's like about as cool as, well, I was gonna say it's as cool as the Masamune from Final Fantasy X, but seriously, do we really want to make that connection so soon? A little early for that. Anyway, come down here and talk to this guy. Thank goodness you're safe. Even the little one's gotten a bit bigger. <laughs> you make a dwarf proud. Let me give you this mallet as a thanks for dropping by. It's the least I can do. I used to use it in the show. Oh, man. My nose is just running up a storm over here. I have not seen my nose run this much in like three years. But in the last month or so, I do not know what has happened. I really don't. <sighs> Apparently my butt hasn't changed. It's like your voice has changed, but your breath is still the same. That's what my dad used to say. <laughs> Good lord. Alright, so now that we have the sea hare's tail, we'll just go drop by Kakara here. I guess if I was a really nice person, I would have done this first. These guys are thirsty, you know. Should have taken care of their problems before going off and taking care of my own stuff. It's a sea hare's tail! Hurrah! Let's throw that in the dry well. Dry well? I don't see no well around here. Water! We're saved! In return, let me give you this belt. It belonged to the legendary hero, so it ought to look great on you. So you only hear that sound two times in the game, and we just heard it twice in the last two minutes. I can't drink anymore. Yeah, I, I, I thought I saw somebody say something about the water looking a little too. Something, I forget the word they used. Like shiny, I guess. I've been waiting. Which weapon is it? It doesn't seem like we have to upgrade anything here. So if you ever get Moogled now, all well, you gotta use is the Moogle belt. You can even use it in reverse. You can turn yourself into a Moogle. Just any old time you want. Oh my god, you even... Wait a minute, no. Okay, I was gonna say... I saw two footsteps really close together and thought it was like an animal hoof print or something. And I was like, oh my god, does the Moogle have his own footprint? That would've been crazy. And it's kind of the same thing with the hammer I just picked up. That's for pygmizing, or pygmyizing, or whatever the hell you want to call it. But there's really no reason why you would ever want to do that. There are no Minish Cap situations going on here. So anyway, well, now that we've taken care of that, let me see, there's only one other side area that I can think of off the top of my head that's, like, optional, but it's still worth a look, I guess, because I haven't actually gone there in the remake yet, so let me see, oh, it's actually up north, what am I doing? It's over here by where the... Yeah, it's right there. This is the lighthouse aisle. This is also the only other time you hear this music besides at the very beginning of the game. The waterfall scene. And I mean, call me crazy, but I like what they did to this music. There's a point later on where it goes into double time and the drums start playing really fast. Sort of like that Darth Vader versus Hitler part three. Remember how cool that was? But apparently it's not cool for this game to do it. Slash S.
Wow, this is actually it looks cool from up here. I'm Picard, caretaker of this lighthouse. Not many ships on these rough seas, but I still keep watch. Did you know there's a whole sunken continent northeast of here near the coral reef? That mana palace is really just a giant switch that'll bring the continent back to the surface. The ancients must have been powerful. There are probably more unexplainable mysteries under the ocean. Ah, uh, yeah, there are, actually. <laughs> but, um, well, there you go. There's really nothing to do here. You just talk to that guy. And I guess learn about the continent and stuff. I guess that's how you'd normally hear about it, maybe a little earlier than you'd been intended to, but that's definitely one of the harder places to find in the original game. But here they made it a little easier to spot by giving it sort of a you know, 3D tower look. And the continent to which he refers is actually right here. This can also be a little hard to spot. Sometimes the clouds are over it. So we can just go take a look, I guess. Which we're not going to be able to do much here. So, not much we can do there. Something's pushing us back. You're breaking the fourth wall here. There. Speaking of breaking the fourth wall, I was actually watching somebody stream this the other night. But it wasn't the remake, they were streaming the original. And it's funny how easy it is to forget what playing the game is like for the very first time. Because they were playing it for the very first time, they had never played it before. And there were a couple of things that they got hung up on that I'd forgotten, like, how silly the translation was, and kind of how misleading it was in some parts. Like, they were in the upper land. Wait, let me see where I'm going here first. So we're supposed to go to the lofty mountains, why don't we just do that? So they were in the upper land, and they were doing the seasons puzzle, right? Where you have to walk around the seasons. Wait a minute. Okay, oh god, I had to stop and blow my nose again. I actually had to sneeze altogether. Yay, look at this, we're in Mandala. Take care on your way. The mountain path is dangerous. I pray that Sage Jock is safe. Welcome to Mandala, here in the lofty mountains. Okay, well, we'll look around here a little bit more later, and I need to get some continuity here going with this commentary, good lord. Yeah, so they were in the... Just coming out of the Seasons puzzle. And you know how after you walk through the Seasons... It uh, pops up and says, that was from the right! Well, they didn't know what that meant. I mean, it kind of like, it's, you know, at first it seems so obvious because like, oh, it says that was from the right, so you just walk to the right. It's just a literal thing. But not every player is going to take it literally. And if you really think about it, it doesn't make that much sense because <laughs> when the characters come into the spring season, they're facing south. So if the characters were saying that was from the right, you would think that they meant that was from their right, so you would go west. And that's actually what the person did. And of course, they just ran into the wind crystal and then they didn't know what to do after that, and by the time they got back, they'd kind of forgotten what it originally said and where they were and everything like that. Because when it's your first time, you don't always remember that stuff. So... <laughs> So anyway, I was, I, well, since I happened to be there, I was able to explain it to them a little bit. But it was kind of funny because it never really crossed my mind before just how misleading or how... just how silly the translation turned out. And in the remake, they really don't change that line that much. I think it says, like, that was from the right, right? <laughs> like, they literally say right two times in a row. So, yeah. So that was kind of weird. But it's, it's one of those things that I kind of, you know, it made me wish that I had talked about it back when I was there doing that part of the remake. Also, I didn't really give this music a chance, did I? Oh, I kind of want to go back and get the armor that's in the town, but... So here's the thing now. There's actually armor that's way better than what's in the town that's available now that you can actually get now because you have Flammy. And it's not that hard to find because it's in Gold City, which is on a really conspicuous island out in the middle of everything. 
So you can get that armor now if you want, but you probably can't afford it, is the thing. So there is armor that's in this town that is better than what you have. And plus, it also makes you immune to the Sleep Flower spell, which they're always casting on you on this mountain. So that armor is worth picking up. Normally I don't, but it is worth picking up, maybe. If for nothing else, then the immunity to the Sleep. Because that can be pretty annoying. But I'm just the kind of person, though, that, like, when I get to a point in a game, and there's two different pieces of armor that are available for me, and one of them is more expensive and better, then I go for the one that's more expensive and better, pretty much always. This is actually another one of those songs that gets better as it goes. It starts out, like, really quiet, but then it gets, like, really good as it goes along. I think it just kind of, like, start. Whoa! Holy crap, that was really hurt, didn't it? Um, let me see here. I'm actually gonna set Cure back to L1 here, so we can just do this. It's pretty soon we're gonna be picking up seeds really rapid fire here in a little bit, so... <laughs> yeah, I've tried to kind of keep an open mind with the weapons. Use a little bit of everything here. But it gets to a point where you have more orbs and levels than you can really keep up with. So you might as well use the weapons you like the most. And if you happen to level those up all the way, then good. You know, you can always switch to something else and try leveling it, but... But if you try to level all the weapons, though, you're gonna get overwhelmed really quickly, so... <laughs> don't even bother. The only reason to do it would be, like, you know, if you were the completionist, which he did do it. And holy crap, did he ever. Man, I tell ya. I've done it before, but only like once. And I wouldn't really care to do it again, if I'm being honest here. This is definitely a prime example of one of the areas I was most excited to see in 3D. So definitely looking over this ledge now, the fast forest below. I'm not sure why there's so much forest, though. Because if you look at it on the world map, it's definitely not surrounded by forests. It's more like surrounded by mountains, but okay. I mean, whatever. Maybe it's a different forest we're looking at. I don't know. Maybe the world is so small now and condensed that that's actually the upper land. I don't know. It doesn't seem like Sprite's taking nearly as much damage now since the update, either. But that might just be... because I'm past that point in the game... you know, where the armor starts to balance out. Because if you have a character that's, like, naturally 10 defense lower than everybody else, but then you start picking up armor that gives everybody 200 defense, so then you have, like, 230, 230, and 220 or something, then it doesn't matter as much, and that's why I kept saying stuff like, oh, well, it'll balance itself out later in the game. You know, the sprite having less defense than the other two. Sage Jock, everybody. Or is it? You may not enter. Ahem. His sageness is out. Oh, what? He went to the Palace of Darkness via that cave you passed on the way here. So that's it then. That's all you got for me. Well, too bad. I don't care much for the, what they did to this music either. It's another one of those where it's all tinny and stuff now. It doesn't have that same melodic, harmonic bliss that the original had. I mean, the original was just kind of washed over you, and now it's just tink, tink, tink. I, I don't know. I'm probably just being stupid, I don't know. Yeah, this is the area I was talking about earlier where, like, the cursors don't quite line up right. So see if I go to cast Freeze. And it, well, it did at that time. But sometimes the cursor's, like, in the wrong place or something. It's kind of weird. Okay, well, you're gonna prove me wrong now, aren't you, game? <laughs> it's okay if you want to. Dang it, cockatrices, don't do that. Stone all three of us over here. 
Come on, right, out of magic. No. Yeah, these bees are weak against free, so if you want to do that, knock yourself out. I haven't bothered leveling up my magic or anything. Probably gonna do that off screen. So you don't really need to at this point. It's it helps, but it's not such a huge deal. I mean, as far as that goes, you could basically finish the whole game with your spells at, like, level 3 or 4, and you'd probably be okay. Uh, get out of here. Holy shit, um, yeah. I think I spotted that one, I did. Yeah, I don't think so. You ain't killing me. Ah, uh, boy, why are you so hard to hit? I seem to have this much trouble coming up here. Once again, you get him stunned, then you're fine. You can hit him all you want. <laughs> it's just a matter of getting that first hit in. Also, this axe must be knocking him out. I don't know. Anyway, so we could go back down the mountain to the cave, or we could just do the easy thing here. And call the dragon. Boy, she looks happy. Holding that thing all diagonally. So I'm probably not going to want to be starting a dungeon at this point in the... I mean, I'm not really sure where we're at on time, but I did want to explore the rest of this town. Along with what's north of it, if you know what I mean. You can get to the Palace of Darkness down the mountain. But be careful, it's full of monsters. Look for a cave to get into the heart of the mountain. Palace of Darkness, Underground Palace. Man, how do you keep up with these places? The devout come to this village from all over to visit our ancient temple. Okay. Well, I thought I'd walked into a Stardew Valley cutscene for a second here. The great sage Jock and his disciple Jack live on the peak. Good lord, he's got you all fooled with that facade too. To visit the town, enjoy your stay. Almost spoilers, but not quite spoilers. <laughs> it's like I can see why he needs to fool us, but why does he need to fool the town people? I have no idea. Have you heard of the manor tree? They say it watches over us from the impenetrable pure land. Oh, don't They're remind me. To have the manor tree protect the world. Don't remind me of the pure land, no! You must be tired after scaling this mountain. Wait, you flew up here? That's cheating. I know. What you gonna do about it? We'll stay at the end when we come back. There's no monsters up here or anything. In fact, this entire area is just basically optional. There's nothing to really do here. This temple dates back to the days of the Mana Fortress War. We still have artifacts from those dark times inside. In fact, our orbs are some of them. A strange technology. These ancient videos can replicate the world of the past. Fascinating. A wise sage lives high atop the mountain. He comes to meditate every day without fail. What a sweet little girl. She brings flowers to the altar every day without fail. Yeah, I almost can't help but feel like this must be another part of the game that got cut short because of the translation and stuff. Hi! Have you come to meditate? Well, I was thinking about meditating ever since Smooth McGroove mentioned it. Don't bug me while I meditate. Like, do you actually have to sit in a circle, like, on your, like, sit Indian style and put your hands on your knees and point all five of your fingers toward the sky together to meditate? Or can you just do it, like, in the shower? Okay. Sounds good. Because I don't know, I mean... It's the same thing with praying. I mean, I, I decided a long time ago, you know, that I didn't have to... Like that if you're gonna pray, just do it, you know, you don't have to stop and fold your hands. As far as that goes. Well, uh, let's just watch these. Evening news. At dawn, Lauren launched missiles at the Empire, which is threatened to take Lauren's capital, Wendell, by nightfall. Is a limited resource. We must conserve it 
or we'll all have to face the consequences. What utter nonsense! Nonsense? If you think protecting the world from self-destruction is nonsense, then on your head be it. Mark my words. You can't end this here. Give me the mic. Oh man, I tell you what, those debates. <laughs> it exploded. Well. Viewers at home, we have a visual on the famed mana beast. Whoa. What? This is terrible. The mana beast has just decimated the fortress. It's crumbling into the ocean. Ladies and gentlemen, the beast is it's heading this way. It's, it's coming straight for us. So the camera's hurry. Oh man, they they really wanted to do something with this. I know they must have had to. Oh, my heart breaks when he's not around, and I miss him. <laughs> okay, well there you go. This one's broken. Well, yep, and that's all just optional. Like you could totally miss that. And I wouldn't blame you if you did. I mean, I, well, it's, it's not. It is an obvious area. But again, it's just... Uh, I, don't know what's, I don't know what this is in here. I don't know if I ever found this place as a kid, like this little room up here. Sage Jock is fickle with visitors. He will not see anyone with polluted minds and murky thoughts. Oh. Makes you wonder. But yeah, I mean, I, I sure don't remember seeing this door over here. I actually saw someone in an LP come over here and walk into this door, and they were like, Hey, look at this, it's over here. If I did find it as a kid, I just don't remember. I guess that's entirely possible. But yeah, what a strange area, though, you know, just to be a totally optional area. Like, usually, in any other game, there would at least be something... That would affect the gameplay here. You know, like an orb. Or some kind of, I don't know, armor. Or, I don't even know. Like, what else could there be, really, at this point? A treasure chest or something, but... But there's it's just all cutscenes, is all it is. So it's, it's kind of cool, though. Because the other game just had the balls to do that. I don't know. One night is 150 GP. I mean, you would never see... I'm, I'm just saying you would never see a game do that these days. I'm not saying it's... That they had ball. Well, I did say that, but screw it. Are you practicing Salamando's magic? Of course! Fire magic is particularly cool. All the attacks are pretty destructive, I'll give you that. The best magic comes with explosions. Kinda makes all my other attacks seem boring. Salamando's my favorite, no doubt! Careful, if you play favorites, the other elementals might not like it. I can't help it if the rest of them are boring. How could you be so cool? No! Y you heard me? No one wants a boss who doesn't respect them. You should listen to the missus. She understands what we elementals are thinking. See? Better treat everyone fairly or you'll be stuck without allies. No! Wait! I take it over! <laughs> Oh god, I love it. Well, next time on Secret of Mana, we will take on the underground, er, Palace of Darkness, yeah.